Welcome along to the Met Office 10 day trend that takes us into February. And the weather is looking livelier, more changeable over the next week or so. However, if you're a fan of the white stuff, if you're a snowmantic, I'll be honest, there isn't a lot to get excited about. Our weather is kind of on a repeat pattern at the moment. High pressure has been dominating, certainly across the southern half of the UK for most of January. Further north, we have had lows and weather fronts, and we're going to see another one drifting south during Thursday, bumping into the high pressure and fizzling out. The high builds in behind, and so we're going to see a repeat through the weekend with weakening weather fronts drifting southwards, hitting that area of high pressure. However, we could see something of a, a mix up, a change to that pattern come Sunday as this area of low pressure looks to develop. We'll have more on that in just a moment. But first of all, let's get back to the rest of this week and that repeating pattern, because even within that, there's some really quite interesting features to pick out. And uh, quite notably, the isobars really squeezing together there behind this area of low pressure across northern Scotland on Thursday morning through Wednesday night, the early hours of Thursday, some very strong winds across northern Scotland, especially Orkney. And we do have a Met Office yellow warning in place. This weather front will then swing southwards and move away a lot of the clouds. So offering some brighter skies for most on Thursday before we see that next weather front drifting southwards during Friday and Saturday. And again, the isobars pretty close together across the north. So for the rest of this week, we are going to see some windy spells, uh, particularly across the northern half of the UK. Something a bit brighter, certainly for most of us on Thursday, but the weather generally a bit more changeable, but also it is going to be milder. And then we have to look at Sunday. I said a minute ago, let's focus in on this area of low pressure because moving in towards the UK looks like quite a deep affair, doesn't it? Lots of isobars on the chart. Those weather fronts likely to bring a spell of heavy rain as well. So some wet and windy weather is likely, but exactly where and exactly when, that's open to quite a bit of doubt. This is the projection from the Met Office main computer run, but Obviously, we look at other computer models and the European model has a deep area of low pressure, but in a, quite a different position, uh, a fair bit further north and west. And in this scenario, yes, wet and windy weather across maybe Northern Ireland and parts of Scotland, but a good part of England and Wales on Sunday in this scenario will be largely dry and fine. That's the deterministic or the main run from the European computer model run. but. If you're a fan of the 10 day trend, you'll know that for medium and long term weather forecasts, we often run the computer models several times. We call these ensemble forecasts. And this is uh, an example of that. The Met Office projection, the ensemble forecast, where we run the model lots of times. And this is just a handful of those models for that same time for that uh, midday picture on Sunday. And you can see the control there has the low to the northwest. Other examples, number nine and 10 here, have something similar with a, a deep area of low pressure to the northwest. But others, like number six and seven, barely have a low pressure at all. And that just signifies quite a bit of uncertainty about Sunday's forecast. Let's look at why there's uncertainty now. And for that, we need to rewind and head back to Saturday and watch this area of low pressure actually kind of form way out in the Atlantic. It's going to interact with the jet stream. That's what picks it up. That's what intensifies this low. And it moves it from a fairly weak area of low pressure on the warm side of the jet. As this arm of the jet dips down, we call this little trough, it picks up the low, intensifies it as it moves across to the cold side of the jet. But those interactions a very subtle and a slight shift or slight change in the position of the jet stream will move that area of low pressure quite a bit. And what's happening on the other side of the Atlantic is actually influencing the shape of the jet stream. This area of low pressure set to bring some very wintry conditions to parts of eastern Canada at the weekend may well interact with the jet and affect how far north that jet stream goes and therefore how it interacts exactly with our area of low pressure. So there's lots going on. That's why there's quite a bit of uncertainty about Sunday. For the moment, it's best to say there is a possibility of quite a wet and windy spell. So stay tuned to the forecast as things develop over the next several days. What happens beyond that and looking at next week? Well, we know we're going to start with the jet stream in this kind of position, this kind of amplified arching down across the UK. And in here, that's where the high pressure is likely to then build back in. So that's the 
broad picture through next week. But as that low clears away, it is likely to leave the winds coming down from the north or northwest on Monday. So Monday is likely to bring quite a, a cold day, depending on exactly where that low pressure shifts through. We're likely to be in the wake of it, bringing a, a cold feel with a mixture of sunshine and showers. And then beyond that, well, it looks like this kind of pressure pattern will dominate. Low pressure through next week will continue to push up towards Iceland. And high pressure, instead of sitting close to the UK, looks like controlling things, but from further afield, from further down to the southwest. So this is the broad picture, the broadly expected pressure pattern for much of next week. And if this is the case, then the winds are obviously going to mostly be coming in from the west. Quite brisk winds at times particularly close to the low across the north, but westerly winds always coming in from the Atlantic uh, are never going to bring particularly cold weather. Now, this is the probabilistic pressure trend through next week from the European model. We've shown these before on the 10 day trend and throughout January, we've shown them because they've been entirely red, suggesting that high pressure has been going to dominate as it has been. But you can see a, a change here through the dates next week. Uh, the colors changing there, hints of low pressure, high pressure, not, not real, no real strong signal, but just indicating that things are going to be more changeable through next week. However, there is a strong signal if we look at the flow where the winds are most likely to be coming from. Blue is westerly winds and you can see an awful lot of blue on that chart right throughout next week going down here, the previous computer model run. So we've got a lot of confidence that westerly winds will be the dominant feature through next week. As I said, that's going to bring mild air off the Atlantic, and that's shown here with the temperature projections. This one's for Hull, but I could have picked almost anywhere across the UK. The red box and whiskers plots uh, showing the maximum temperatures, and you see that rise over the next few days, so it is getting milder this week. A bit of a dip into the weekend, but also notice the plots get bigger suggesting there's more uncertainty. And that's as we get to Sunday with the position of that low. But even though there's a bit more uncertainty, throughout next week, those box and whiskers plots tend to be above that red line, which is the average line. So suggesting that temperatures will remain around or above average through next week as westerly winds will dominate. So that's the main themes for next week. As I said, not too much if you're a snow fan to get excited about at this stage. Westerly winds dominating, temperatures mostly above average. There will be showers around, particularly across the north, something a little drier further south. Make sure you stay up to date with the very latest, particularly with Sunday in mind, and subscribe to our YouTube channels. You'll never miss a forecast.